guys welcome to water baby tarot this is the um earth sign february crystal healing video i need to find a better way to like title that <laughs> or to like introduce these videos it's just too many goddamn words but this is basically for capricorn taurus and virgo um so for those who are new to these videos or my channel i basically use the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck i had trouble saying that in the water sign today water sign video today um, I use this deck to basically see what crystals are recommended for you for the month of February. Then I go ahead and I pull tarot cards to see why you need those crystals, okay? Now, just really quickly, when it comes to picking crystals, I always recommend that you do it in person. We all have our own unique frequency, and crystals do too. <laughs> there, there are a lot of crystals out there, and even if it's the same kind of crystal, they've all been through different shit. So that's why they all have their own little frequency, even if they're the same crystal, okay? So definitely try to get your crystals in person if you can. It's okay if you buy them online. It's not a sin. Um, but definitely try to buy it in person if you're able to. Now, if you can't buy the crystals, um, but you have this deck, you can still use the cards in lieu of the crystals, which is still kind of cool. Also, I recommend getting the Crystal Bible. I am not sponsored by them. I just love that book. And I do believe there's a second edition. It's huge. It's like this thick, if I'm not mistaken. There's tons of crystals in there, and a lot of crystals do the same thing. So if I talk about a crystal, but you're, you're resonating with the issue or why you would need it, but you're like, I'm not loving how that crystal looks or whatever, um, you can see what other crystals do that same thing, because I'm telling you there's for, for the same ailment, there's all kinds of crystals, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. These are very, very general, which is why I always read the description of the crystals so that you can decide for yourself if you really need them or not, okay? Okay. Let's see, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Capricorn, um, I haven't decided on a sign yet, but I'm just gonna show you what came out in case it comes out again for the sign I decide on. Graphic Smoky Quartz, I love the look of that one. I don't know, it always reminds me of Morse code. It always reminds me of Morse code. Anyway, <sighs> Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo for February. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Oh, all you guys are quiet. Oh, earth signs. What's going on? Okay, this card keeps wanting to come out. Pink graph, uh, pink granite. I'm saying graphite. Graphite is lead. <laughs> it's, not, it's not granite. Anyway, um, earth signs, you're feeling quiet, and it's really kind of like making me nervous for you guys for February. Um, earth signs, you tend to get quiet when things are not going so awesome. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, we're gonna go with you. You know, it's it's weird. Like the way that came, the way that energy came in for you, it's like the, it's so weird because I had something similar with water signs where it's like if like if they could represent like children in a room. We had Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, and Cancer and Scorpio had some weird battle going on, and Pisces is off in the corner, just like I'll just wait my turn. Like some weird shit going on there. And with you guys, it was almost like Big Brother was kind of what I was getting for you, Taurus. Like the older, wiser one, which is weird because you're actually the youngest Earth sign. But it's almost like center of attention, like the one people look to. This might be the energy that you're harnessing right now, Taurus. And Capricorn and Virgo were just kind of off in their own separate corners. It's weird. Almost like all your backs were turned to each other, but it was obvious that like you're the go-to person or like you're the Big Brother person. That was very weird. The energy I picked up on there with all of you signs. Very strange. Anyway, Taurus, that's what I was getting with you. People look to you. You're like the Big Brother, the older one. Again, even though you're the youngest or sign. Strange. Um, but you're not saying anything to anybody. You're not saying anything to anybody in the month of February. Um, you got a, You got a strong silence about you. It's turning people off around you. It's turning people off, but I think you need to be silent right now. I think you're working through some stuff. You're working through some stuff. It's almost like you're sitting there with your arms crossed. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of February? You're also a little sad. You're a little bummed about something. You're a little disappointed about something. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of February? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of February? I feel like you're disappointed with other people and how people are um, engaging with you. Yeah, it just feels like the disappointed big brother. I can't like shake that. You thought people would get with the program? That's interesting. <laughs> I guess that is very Taurian. You thought people would get with the program. Uh oh. Okay, I'm not loving this is going, Taurus. Uh, what crystals do my Taurians need for the month of February? You're having some issues with leadership. Eye of the Storm just came out. Oh, God, I love this crystal. 
It's not just like beautiful. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Um, some of you guys are having issues with leadership or maintaining leadership. It's not even like, it doesn't even feel negative. It doesn't feel aggressive. It doesn't feel gross. I'll say it that way. It doesn't feel like icky energy. It just feels kind of like you might be wavering in your skill as a leader or your confidence as a leader. It's almost like you can't get people to do whatever it is that has to be done. And you're you're kind of taking on the blame for yourself. That's not usually very Torian. Um, you're taking on that blame for yourself. Like like it's something you could do. Like there's something that you that there's gotta be something you could do to change that. And I don't think that's the case, Taurus. I think everyone's just in weird ass energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but you're kind of taking it like there's something I should be able to do to get people in line or to get people to do what they're supposed to do. You're taking it as your responsibility. What other crystals do my Taurians need for the month of February? Yeah, it's like disappointed big brother or like disappointed father figure, like father energy. It's weird. It's coming off very masculine. Oh, golden healer. It's funny I was saying brother and father. This is a very ancestral healing energy. Um, it's also about deep, deep ass healing here. Okay. So that's coming across. I feel like it's more about a dynamic, not necessarily just with yourself. It's almost like you want to take on that responsibility of mediating something, mediating a dynamic or a group of people or getting people to be better or in a better place of being. And you feel like it's not working. It's not coming together and it's it's frustrating you, but you're taking that on as like it's your fault. And it's not, Taurus. What other crystals do my Taurians need for the month of February? Let's see. Oh, purple right. <laughs> and, and, and I was the the blah, <laughs> the master number on this card always sticks out to me with the 44 there. Um, oh god, Taurus. These are like how do I say this? I mean, like I'm getting advanced. The, the, these are very advanced or evolved kind of energy crystals. Like in the way, and the reason I say that, it's like it's not just, oh, I'm brokenhearted and I need some help. Like it's not just that kind of healing, it's not that kind of medicine. It's um the Taurians I'm tapped into, you are very evolved or you're dealing with a situation that requires you to have some major, major tools in your tool, be tool belt. <sighs> um, like this is not for just any small minor thing. Okay. But we have three of them here. So let's go ahead and break these down. Not break them down. Excuse me. Talk about them. <laughs> La -dee -da -dee -da. Okay. Eye of the storm. Safe haven. Eye of the Storm is a safe haven for your soul, a calm center no matter what upheavals may occur, a life support system during stressful times or serious illness. Hold on to it during challenges that you keep things in perspective. You may be allowing the challenges and traumas of life to push you off center. Stress and pressure are a major cause of your dis-ease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect of life to the detriment of others. Look at the wider picture. Time to relax and let go of your stress. Stay mindful rather than watchful. A uh, excess adrenaline adversely affects your immune system. Switch on the positive potential in your cell walls. Meditate quietly to rejuvenate your DNA. You can stay centered and calm no matter what the storm rages around you frequency of this stone is earthy and high great for all the chakras and walking safely through the storm yeah Taurus whatever the problem is it's in your wider environment it's not anything within yourself but you feel responsible I can feel it you feel responsible to some extent and I don't think you actually are but you're t you're you're reacting like it like you are so it's very stressful for you it's becoming a burden golden uh golden healer why is that not focusing there we go Ultimate healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful, transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses expanded by a sixth metaphysics but this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time you create the event being observed allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide recognize your potential to be an amazing healer that's weird i almost said leader i almost said leader but it's healer your ability is needed honing and those who heal are soul sc scored to develop empathy excuse me much in your life needs transforming Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment. Yeah. Or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star, stellar gateway, and uh, great for channeling the Christ consciousness. Oh, 
Taurus. Yeah, I just, I feel like you have this energy of alpha, leader, but like that, not, like it's not panning out the way you expected it. And I feel like people around you are actually in very chaotic energy. People around you are perturbed or like toxic or low vibe or whatever it is. And you're like, I can fix this. I can do this. I can get shit on track. But it's okay if it's okay if it's not working out the way you expected. Don't take that on too much because it really is stressing you out. Okay. Hold on. It's like, where is that? All right. Purpurite, the curse clear. Extremely effective for psychic and aura protection. Purpurite grounds high frequency energy, harmonizing the physical body to the new vibration. It helps you to break away from self-destructive or self-limiting behavior. Energizing the physical and mental bodies, it overcomes tiredness, apathy, and despondency. Old habits and patterns, including those inherited from ancestors, may keep you mired in the past. Subtle energetics of ancient curse curses or ill wishing could be affecting you. These may be personal or passed down through the family line. You may be open to mental influence from others. Be open to new ways to heal. Protect yourself appropriately, but do not be overly defensive. Check out whether you have inadvertently offended anyone. If so, make reparation where possible. If not, send unconditional love and forgiveness without needing to know why or where. The past creates present, but the past can be repaired and the present healed. The frequency of the stone is earthy. Uh, great for... <clears throat> excuse me great for the root the soul star and the stellar gateway and great for being a lineage breaker so for some of you this is just within a, a dynamic of a family or a dynamic that feels like a family so like social circle your team at work what have you but again i'm just getting advanced there's something advanced about this medicine and your situation and i feel like it's because the the group i'm tapping into you're just very evolved compared to the people that you're dealing with okay or oh or the people you're leading interesting okay all right so let's see why <clears throat> you need these crystals i'm actually being drawn to the honest truth deck for you guys oh did i miss a card did i oh nope i did not oh well that's interesting so i thought <laughs> i thought i accidentally um forgot two of the cards because i keep all of my my deck stacked and look what i accidentally grabbed from a different deck the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Oh my. Ten of, the nine is like independent, right? It's independent energy. It's also a lot of confidence. It's having a stability on your own, in your own right, without others. Now, the ten usually involves other people. Taurus, you might be striving for your ten and you might be finding it hard because the people that you're involved with or the people around you or the people that you're getting involved with your ten of pentacles is not quite there, vibrationally right to get you to that 10 that you had in mind just saying but anyway let's go ahead and pull some cards why do my taurians need these crystals for the month of february why do my taurians need these crystals for the month of february <laughs> taurus i love you you're thinking about food <laughs> So Torian, you're like you, seriously. You, some of you guys are like hardcore thinking about food. Are you watching food porn? What's going on? Um, a lot of veggies. I'm seeing a lot of veggies, hummus. So oh, that sounds really good. I'm seeing bell peppers, cucumbers, olives. Are you? Oh, you guys must be eating like a like Mediterranean food or something. That's interesting. Anyway, Taurus, back to you. What crystals do my Torians need? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of February? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of what why do my sorry, excuse me, why do why why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of February? Sorry, I got sucked in with that food stuff that distracted me. Uh why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of February? They're literally showing me gold and diamonds. That's so weird, Taurus. They're literally showing me that, gold and diamonds. Um, okay. <laughs> I feel like it's just alluding to abundance, honestly. Be careful of wanting too much material wealth. Um, I'm just being honest with what I'm picking up. Some of you have been striving too much for material wealth versus just, you know, what you need, which is to be healthy, happy, taken care of, financially stable not struggling but it's like some of you want or you know want a little more than that that's just very taurian energy but just be mindful that that's not your driving force that's not going to lead you in the right direction okay oh ooh. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, I don't like this. High Priestess, Piscean Energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader with the Five of Wands, a Leo Energy. I gotta be honest, I feel a lot of combative people here. I feel a lot of combative people. I feel gossiping. If this is a work situation, you might be picking up on the fact that other people are talking shit about you or planning something behind your back. I got, yeah, I just feel a group of people trying to hide something from you or saying a lot of shit behind your back. But intuitively, you might be picking up on that, but it's not being spoken. And it's like you're trying to figure this out. Taurus, this feels really familiar. I feel like I've had this energy for you uh, in the last month or so. It, if that's the case, if you've been experiencing this last month or so, it just might be continuing to transpire through February. Yeah, this feels really, really familiar. Why else do my Taurians need these crystals? For the month of February, some of you have some of your own inner conflicts going on that you're not sharing with other people. Some of you are feeling really torn. That's for a different group of you. Why else do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of February? Let's see here. Yay. Three of Swords in reverse. Libra energy. So you're going to have healing from a situation. Ooh, Taurus, with this dynamic, with this wider dynamic, because I feel like it's about multiple people, not just you and one person. I feel like something went down that upset everybody. You might have made a decision that upset everyone involved. And you, you want to you smooth things over, but you're having a lot of trouble with that. Because I think once you upset these people, it's like they kind of turn their backs on you a little bit. It feels a little bit like that. It feels a little bit like that, but you will be healing the situation, okay? You're going to find a way. Just, again, be careful of how you're going about this and don't take on too much of their shit, right? Why else do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of February? Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh. We've got the Four of Cups with the Chariot and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Yikes. Cancerian energy. Actually, both of these are Cancerian energy. Queen of Wands in reverse is Aries. Could also be fire or water. This just this feels like rejection. I gotta be honest. This feels like rejection. It's almost like someone's rejecting out of out of anger and frustration and irritation. Like, well, fuck it. I didn't want to deal with you anyway. You know, it feels a little bit like that. And for those who like, because again, some of you I can feel made a decision that affected um, other people around you. They're like quietly turning their backs on you, and but it's out of spite. It's like out of spite and out of anger, and you're just not sure what to do or how to handle this. But like I said, you're going to have the healing you need to have. Like if you want to have your Ten of Pentacles and you wanted these people, you needed to deal with these people to get that, or you involved these people to get that, they might just not have been the right people. Or maybe your Ten of Pentacles, there's just a different path to getting it, but this seems to be like major differences in vibrations between you and these people. Like, majorly different. Let's see what else wants to come out. Why else do my Torians need these crystals for the month of February? Uh oh. Why else do my Torians need these crystals for the month of February? Why else do my Torians need these crystals? Yikes. Now we have two of wands, Aries energy with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Pisces could also be water or fire. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpio could also be water or air. This is, I gotta be honest, this is kind of gross. Um, this energy is like, it's trying to move forward. There's a splitting happening. There's a splitting of ways happening here. And it seems, I gotta be honest, Taurus, it feels unavoidable. It seems like whatever you've been trying to do to smooth things over with these people, it doesn't seem like it can be fixed, but you can get your own healing out of this by not, by just letting it happen, by just letting shit happen. Because over energy, look, we've got death, scorpionic energy, and then we have justice, Libra energy. Can we know the cusp of not, not necessarily, whatever is ending here, is exactly what needs to happen. And I know that sucks to hear, but I mean, it, it seems to be very clear. It's like <coughs> this walking away out of spite, that's very gross, right? That's very gross energy. And if you've been trying to work towards your 10 of pentacles and they don't want to play by your rules or they don't want to deal with you, 
where there's been trouble like all of these it's like suppressed anger and resentment has been going on here and it's just been too much and you haven't been able to get them in line or get everyone on board or whatever it is but you're realizing there's a there's a splitting of ways happening and it hurts it sucks and you don't really want that to happen so it's like you're trying to fight tooth and nail to keep things the way they are but smooth them over but it doesn't seem like that's possible and it seems like letting that die is exactly just what needs to happen okay Ooh, i'm sorry taurus i know that sucks i know that really sucks but you're gonna be better off okay you will because with this ten of pentacles whoever you want to be involved in that ten of pentacles or in your home if it's a home situation or if it's a family situation maybe you know meeting people to create your own like version of your family whatever um they're gonna be more in tune with your frequency to be able to enjoy that with you or to help you get there you know what i mean so just take it as a lesson learned take it as a lesson learned because you don't want to deal with this shit you don't want to deal with hidden resentment and anger and people talking shit behind your back and and trying to ditch you out of spite and all of that craziness like look what it's doing to you it's putting you in a really like like ups like emotionally upset kind of a energy which is why you're being very quiet and like kind of really sad but you're not speaking on that sadness just just let it just let it go L lesson learned just lesson learned right okay i know taurus i'm sorry i'm sorry all right who do we have next that's weird i just heard gemini <laughs> We're not doing air signs in this video. Uh, who's left? We have Capricorn and Virgo left. Water break. Hold on. Okay. Capricorn or Virgo? Capricorn or excuse me? <laughs> okay. Capricorn or Virgo? Capricorn or Virgo for February? Capricorn or Virgo? Virgo yeah Virgo we're going Virgo Cappies you're gonna be last I feel like Cappies yours is gonna be really intense okay to be honest Cappies I feel like you're you're it's, it's weird it's almost like as a collective like I'm being blocked out from you that feels really strange I think it's just your energy I feel like you're just wanting people to like not pay attention to you right now uh Virgo Virgo what crystals do my Virgos need for February interesting Virgos they're showing me pearls which to me just screams cancer. So that's kind of funny. You could have a cancer placement um, or you could be dealing with a cancer. But yeah, they're showing me pearls. What's that saying? Pearl of wisdom. Isn't that the saying? Pearl of wisdom. Oh, you might be going through some lessons to Virgo. Guys, everybody's sad. I'm just, <laughs> I'm getting a little sadness with you too, Virgo. What crystals do my Virgos need for February? You're hiding a little bit, Virgo. I can feel it. You're hiding a little bit. A little bit of that hermit energy. It's weird what they're showing me. Remember how I was saying it's like Cappies and Virgos, you're off in your corners and Taurus, you're like right in the middle, like that older energy of like, come to me for your answers or what have you. Virgo, you're off in this corner and literally they're showing me someone like with their back turned and their head facing the corner, like, but like intentionally not as like a timeout. Like you're, you're withdrawing quite a bit. Virgo, you're withdrawing quite a bit. So crystals do my Virgos need for the month of February? They're showing me strings. This is weird. Um, you've got strings in your hands. I don't know what that's about. You could be creating. You could be just be creating a lot right now. Oh, some of you Virgos are feeling caught up in something. Almost like you're you're caught in a web of something. I literally just heard, oh, a crazy web we weave. Mm, okay. What crystals do my Virgos need for February? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of February? Oh, Jesus. Hold on, guys. Oh, of course. Peridot or Peridot, however the hell you want to pronounce it. <laughs> Sorry, I always get shit for saying it like that, but it basically looks like this. I actually have it right here if you guys want to see how it looks. Oh, that's actually not the best visualization. Anyway, Peridot. So you got some emotional purging and cleansing that you got you got going on here. Also going a lot of heart chakra stuff with you, Virgo. 
Oh God, rhodochrosites. Both of these are about major heart shit. Heart shit, listen to me, I sound so educated. Um, both of these are about some major, major heart healing. Major heart healing, heart chakra purging, balancing. I did just hear balancing. Oh, Virgo, what is going on? Uh, yeah, some of you guys feel like you got caught up in something or caught in someone's web. There's something about, like weaving and like networking. Literally, they're showing me strings. Like literally, that's that's all the stuff I'm getting here. And you're going and it's it's pain. Whatever happened within this can't speak whatever happened in this web or weaving or string or network or whatever you want to say whatever you want to call it it's made you withdraw it's made you go into hermit mode you're, and you're going through some emotional ass shit in february it's triggered a lot within you and i'm i am getting a lot of regret virgo what other crystals do my virgos need for the month of february What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of February? Ooh, ooh, you guys got purple ray too. Purple ray and selenite. So we just did it. Taurus. So Taurus also had purple ray if you just did the timestamp to Virgo. And when we get a repeating crystal, I don't repeat the description. So if you want to hear what purple right is about go ahead and click on Taurus but selenite oh selenite's here too oh goodness okay Virgo the 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 depth of healing and emotions going on here I mean it's deep it's like deeper than Scorpio deep okay um god I don't even have any words for it I wish I did I wish I did some of you, it's going to be a major soul retrieval energy. And it's interesting, selenite sticking out here to me because I feel like selenite's really almost um, anchoring you, which is interesting. I would never recommend that for selenite, but it is. It's almost anchoring your consciousness is what they're telling me as you're going through these energies. It's also good for protection as well. Yeah, that's what, yeah, I feel like it's anchoring your consciousness. It's so weird to say that because I don't even think that's a thing, but that's what they're telling me. It's anchoring your consciousness during all of this. Virgo, all three of these are about major ass healings, emotional cleansings, heart healings, purgings, closing karmic shit, like all three of these. I gotta be honest, Virgo, I'm also getting shame. I'm getting something about shame. Someone could be ashamed of what they've done to you or you could be carrying shame that's like hard for you to face. Ooh, just got the chills. Some of you, this is about shame that you're you're having a hard time facing. Whether it's shame of being a victim of something or shame of engaging in something, it's there's shame. I'm getting shame. But let's go ahead and read these off. Okay. Peridou. Emotional cleansing. Peridou frees the mind from unwelcome envious thoughts and night terrors. It is a transmutative and purifying. It is a, it is transmutative and purifying. You are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. By nature jealous, you have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions, learn to forgive and let go. Follow your own life path um, without judging yourself or being envious of others. You have the power to go through fiery transmutation and emerge transformed. Use energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Peridot indicates farewells and disappointments in love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggress aggression. You have a powerful destiny and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Envy and jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. The frequency of the stone is earthy to high. Great for the heart and the solar plexus. Great for Leos, Virgos, Libras, Scorpios, and Sagis and emotional purification. All right, now let's do rhodochrosite. Okay. Rhodochrosite, the heart reviver. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down. Dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns, it offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates disease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you don't want to face. Irrational fears and parent... <laughs> Sorry, I'm very sensitive to noise. <laughs> you 
<laughs> did you feel the twitch of like triggering anger all of a sudden? I was like, what the fuck is that? Anyway, sorry guys. You may be repressing something you don't want to face. Uh, irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Unacceptables in quotes, by the way. Ooh, I just got a burst energy out of my crown. Sorry, guys. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether um, whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is high, great for the heart, the solar plexus, the root, and the sacral, and for radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. So like I said, with Purpurite, we read that one for Taurus. So go ahead and check out Taurus, and then we'll read, we will read Selenite. I don't know why my mouth is not opening when I'm speaking. It's starting to bug me. Ah, well, my jaw's tight. That's why. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Selenite, divine light. In the ancient world, selenite protected against wanderings of the mind. It invokes mental clarity and divine inspiration. Spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent soul who moves fluidly through time. Use in insights wisely. Avoid confusing past with present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. Do not be manipulated or too eager to please. Stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. A situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. Be prepared for challenges and changes banish confusion clarity is needed allow divine light to inspire the future let go of something dear to you parting does not mean loss of love Recon reconciliation is possible make the first move overheard conversations enlighten you being in the flow strengthens your well-being the frequency of the stone is exceptionally high uh, great for the highest crown the soul star and the stellar gateway for taurians and cancerians and for shining divine light on the earth yeah i feel like literally anchoring your consciousness so interesting it's coming out that way okay you got i'm just i don't know i feel i need to show you guys one more time maybe you guys keep missing it or maybe i'm not holding it up long enough but these are the four there you go okay all right let's pull some cards uh what am i feeling for you you know since since those cards came from the legacy deck, oh, you know, that was Taurus. Never mind. That was Taurus. That wasn't you, Virgo. My bad. Let's do Radiant Wise. Let's do Radiant Wise. Why do my Virgos need these crystals in the month of February? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? Okay, that's weird. The deck just got super sticky. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, gross. That is, that is, that is gross. Uh, that is like total suppression of inner demons. That is like, I will not acknowledge or talk about any of my inner demons or any of the shit that's oppressing me. Ooh, Virgo. Some of that's about to come flying out of you. Because you got to face it. That's for some of you. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? Okay. Ah. Sorry, my nose gets itchy when I channel. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? Keep hearing January. So January stuff might still be triggering for you in February. And we got some peekers. Wow, look at those majors. <laughs> we have the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Uh, six of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. So moving away from the past. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy with the hair font in reverse, Taurian energy. I feel like rebelling. This is interesting. I feel rebellion. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm just getting rebellion, like rebelling against your, your beliefs or rebelling against um, what you were taught. Rebelling against what you've been taught. For some of you, it's just rebelling against conformity, but I feel like it's about what you specifically have been taught. And then we have Page of Pentacles with Temperance. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I love the energy off of this. Saggy energy. Yeah, this is interesting because I keep wanting to call you Taurus too. Interesting. Virgos, you're moving past a lot of painful shit. That's just what this is. You're, you will be triumphant. You will be victorious. You will be good. You'll be okay. Some of you are leaving your childhood home or leaving behind your family. Eight of Swords in verse with the Hair Fun in verse. You're rebelling against what you've been taught your whole life. Not whole life. That sounds dramatic. <laughs> You're rebelling against some of your um, 
traditional ideas or what you've been taught or what you have known to be true through your life, okay? Not everything, you're not throwing the baby out the bathwater, but you know, the big stuff. There's some big stuff there that you're breaking away from. And then Page of Pentacles with Temperance. Some of you, I gotta be honest, it's almost like for some Virgos, this could be just be someone you're connecting to, but it's like going from tradition and religion and heading towards more of a spiritual way of looking at things versus like a structured religious way of looking at things. That's really interesting. That That's coming through super strong for somebody here. Uh, I just heard many for many. Wow. Yeah. Breaking away from religion and going towards spirituality. Um, for the Page of Pentacles and Temperance, it's also about taking on a new perspective, looking at something in a new way in order to heal it. Self-reflection. Thank you. I just heard self-reflection as well. Self-reflection. Some of you are going to um, try, what's the word I'm looking for? Therapy that your family wouldn't be accept accepting of. I'll say it that way. So whatever form of therapy your family has been accepting of, some of you might go the opposite and do something that they wouldn't approve of. I feel a lot of like family disapproval and getting away from family or family disapproval or like the, you know, family ideologies, but either way, really conquering that. That's really awesome, Virgo. That's awesome. That's big and that's major. Some of you are being guided by quite literally your guides with this energy and being very protected in the process. Selenite's helping with that is what I just heard. Why else do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? Why else do my uh, Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? Ooh. Why else do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of February? We got two other cards up. Okay, good. When shit like that goes down, like my brain just shuts down. Like I can't think of anything. Uh, now I have nine of swords in reverse, Gemini energy with the king of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, Aquarian energy. It could also be Gemini or Libra. It's like living in delusion is actually what I'm getting with this. This is strange. King of swords in reverse is someone who doesn't think clearly or they can manipulate with their words or they lie a lot. That's usually what, you know, explicit meanings of the King of Swords in verse. I feel like it's not having clarity or not speaking truth. Someone's feeling guilty about this. This is where I'm getting some of that shame I was picking up on. Virgo, whether this is you or someone you're connecting with, there's someone you're carrying shame about and either not being totally honest. Um, yeah, about not being totally honest. But I'm also getting uh, that there's a group here, whether it's you or someone you're connecting with, that there's been a lack of clarity and someone's had a lot of anxiety about this of like, what do I do? What do I do? Almost like a bit of a mental prison, but not understanding how to move past that. It's because there's been some emotional traumas that have to be recognized and triumphed over and healing taken place. And that will happen. That will definitely happen. I'm also getting for some that there's um, a need to reconcile. I'm getting all kinds of messages for you, Virgo. So just hang in there. Mercurial sign always happens with you in Gemini. Yeah, for some, I'm also getting an offer for reconciliation. Because some, yeah, someone's feeling a lot of shame and guilt and feel, honestly, feeling kind of, I don't like the word dumb, but they're they're self-hating a little bit. That's why was, that came in about not being honest about something and they want to come in and reconcile and just be honest about the truth and put the past in the past. Wow. Okay, a lot of stuff, Virgo. Overall energy, we do have the King of Wands, Leo energy, Kelsey, fire, or air. This is someone who's very confident with themselves, very self-assured, knows exactly what they want, and they're not afraid to go for it. Underneath that, we do have the Two of Swords in reverse. Moon and Libra energy, again, very clear-headed on what they want. Underneath that, we do have the Seven of Wands, um, Libra energy. This is interesting. I feel like this person who knows what they want is being blocked out. So, Virgo... You're going to be getting over shit, a lot of deep shit. Some of you will do this in ways of rebelling against the religion you were brought up in or the traditional ways you were brought up in in the home or whatever your family paradigms, cultures are, breaking away from that, being a little bit of the black sheep of the family, being the rebellion of the family, going towards different ways of understanding the world or different forms of spirituality. For some of you, it's just doing a lot of self-reflection and allowing you to heal. You are guided during this time. Um, some of you are carrying, uh, there's some people here or someone you're connecting with who's carrying shame about not being honest or being a little deceptive or deceitful. There's also a lot of anxiety and stress or not being able to understand how to break away from these uh, these gross, oppressive feelings. The truth of it is, is just needing to, to triumph over that by recognizing it. 
by recognizing it. Now, the thing that's interesting to me, Virgo, is that overall we've got this energy. This is pretty funky. This is someone who knows what they want, but they're being blocked from it. Oh, they know what they want. They're being blocked from it because they need to deal with some shit before they get there. That's what that is. They need to deal with some of that shit before they get there. For some, these blockages that were keeping this person from getting to wherever they need to be were these family paradigms or old ways of understanding something or understanding the world that were not in tune with them. Okay? Decide how all this resonates with you. But Virgo, a lot of messages. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do Cappies. Now that we're 40 minutes in, let's go ahead and do Capricorn. You're going to be fine, Virgo. Like I said, obviously... You're going to be triumphant. You're going to be just fine. You won't have any blockages. You're going to get rid of that anxiety or fear. I'm hearing fear of being misjudged as well. Whoever's got that shame about not being honest, they're going to ask for reconciliation. I definitely feel that. Either way, Virgo, you're going to be fine. You just have to really be honest with yourself and purge some of this shit or deal with some of this shit. Because like, like I said, all three of these cards are about just that. Some major ass heart healing, getting rid of shame and anything in between. Okay. All right. Capricorns. How are my cappies? I just saw a bat. So weird. <laughs> I feel like I've seen a bat before in the last couple months for, for one of your for one of these signs. Um, I literally just saw a bat. Capricorns, I just heard you're gonna see your way through. Oh, Capricorn. All of a sudden, I feel like I just got dragged down like a lot of levels here. Oh, Cappies. Energetically, you guys are dragging ass. It's okay. It's okay. You guys have gone through a lot, Capricorns. You guys have gone through a lot. And with all the Capricorn pressure cooker, who's feeling it the most? Probably Capricorns, right? Um, I can feel it. It's, it's like you are buried in cement. Oh, my goodness. I know I felt this recently with you guys in the last month or so. Um... You will see your way through this. You will see your way through this. It's interesting they show me a bat because the the um, spirit animal cards with the bat, it's about rebirthing, right? Which is basically what we're moving into with February and March with this Capricorn pressure cooker energy from the death energy that we've been in for a while. I've been talking about this for months now. I know a broken record is what it is. Um, but bats are also very amazing creatures. I actually really like them. They're very, very fascinating. Um they i mean do they see they don't really see it's like they have their own unique way of sensing or seeing you know that's not really um common in the animal kingdom but you're going to see your way out of it like they're literally showing me like the old batman movies remember like again probably aging myself but you know the old batman movies where it's like they show like his trauma from the bat right and it's like there's a light behind it and the bat's just like flying like that's what they showed me you're gonna be fine capricorn you're gonna see your way through like, I can feel it. You feel energetically just, like, buried in cement. What crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February? What crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February? What crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February? Crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February. Come on. What crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February? Okay. What crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February? What crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February? What crystals are best for my Capricorns? Oh, graphics boogie cords. That's very cool that that came out or came back out, I should say. Too many, Spirit, too many. Less cards, please. What other crystals are best for my Cap... The deck really wants to talk. What other crystals are best for my Capricorns for the month of February? Ooh, ooh, we got carnelian. Ooh, why did that make me feel really funky all of a sudden? <sighs> that like almost took my breath away when that came out. Um, 
just stay protected with your energy at this time, Capricorns. I'm actually getting that mostly with the Carnelian. Carnelian does a lot. It's a really awesome stone for abundance and creation. Um, confidence as well, which you're kind of needing with all of this heavy, heavy ass energy. Some of you guys might also just be feeling the brunt of some of the negative energy that's coming up with this pressure cooker because so many people are under the influence of Capricorn energy. So be mindful of that to protect your energy. Carnelian is great for that. Okay. Um, Oh, Jesus. Smoky Quartz. Celestial. Are you a Scorpio? What's going on here? The a lot of Scorpionic energy just in like, just with the graphic Smoky Quartz and Smoky Quartz Celestial. Um, oh. Capricorn, you've been integrating a lot of stuff about your shadow. You've been doing that. A lot of us have been doing that. But of course, you're Capricorn under the pressure cooker. You're doing that heavy, 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 right? And needing to protect your energy in the process. I'm also feeling a need for psychic awareness that literally just came in a need for psychic awareness i think you're getting so distracted by what you're feeling energetically and like and emotionally that there's something about your intuition or your psychic abilities that's been really thrown off and it's really needed at this time it's really needed at this time some of you are not really aware of what's going on with the people around you in regards to um their ill intent towards you what other crystals will benefit my Capricorns for the month of February? Oh, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and read these off. We'll do graphic smoky quartz first. Oh, of course, the stabilizer. Graphic smoky quartz supports all the structures in the body, removing toxic debris and traumatic memories. It keeps you grounded and balanced in physical incarnation while exploring other dimensions. Lack of trust in yourself and other people creates psychological barriers that lie at the heart of your disease. Your self-esteem is low, creating a defense system. Memories of old traumas have subtly amended your uh, ancestral DNA. At a deep level, you have been compressed and limited. Allow yourself to expand again. Undertake a shamanic journey into the unseen worlds in search of healing. There you'll find the underlying causes of disease and outdated soul imperatives that are affecting your well-being. Your, your, bleh, offer, <laughs> ah, offer yourself the gift of transformation. Healing is found in the darkest depths of yourself, not in external forces. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high, great for all the chakras and exploring taboos and treading where others fear to tread. Pretty much a lot of what we're dealing with in this energy. So it makes sense, Capricorn, that you would have that. Now let's do uh, Carnelian. Carnelian, creativity. Carnelian protects against glamours or spells, envy, and the evil eye. Bringing good fortune to the wearer, it prevents blood from rushing to the head to cause uh, precipitate action. You have the ability to remain calm during disputes and the self-control not to follow the crowd. Courage in the face of danger comes from inner strength, not foolhardiness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sexual drive is strong. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Direct it toward creativity and raising kundalini. Be eloquent, creative, and bold. Don't hold back. Trust your intu intuitive perceptions. Hold on. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Again. Where was I? Oh, shit. I just lost it. Ah, distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Take time to play. You're a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present. Let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. Be aware of a charismatic person. Sufficient vitamins and minerals support your metabolism for optimum well-being. Uh, the frequency of the stone is earthy to high, depending on the clarity. Great for the root in the sacral and for Taurians, Cancerians, Leos, Virgos, and Scorpios, and expressing soul vitality. I feel like the stone's going to help you sort of rise out of this cement feeling, but just keep in mind that there, there are those around you that I really feel like don't have your best interests at heart, but you're not super aware of it because of this feeling and also um the emotions that you're kind of distracted by okay so let's go ahead and look at smoky quartz alessio and then we will start to pull some cards here okay smoky quartz oh if you've been suffering with depression carnelian, carnelian will definitely help you there okay that just came in for someone Transmutational magic. A stone for karmic healing, smoky quartz, celestial opens into different dimensions and brings powerful transmutation. You have a powerful survival instinct and ability to go where others dare not. Transmute the past. Realize that darkness is not evil. Facing your deepest fears turns these into golden gifts. You know that death is only a transformation into another state of being. Take responsibility for your life. Don't let others take control. Be patient. Much stirs beneath a calm surface. 
Total transformation is close. It may entail a trip into the underworld. <laughs> Death to rebirth, right? Transformation. Your shadow becomes your brightest gift. <laughs> Toxic emotions turn to positive regard. Ground your efforts in the everyday, but retain contact with higher realms. Success comes through dedication and trust in your abilities. Mentors are available. Release yourself from old enchantments. No part of you is evil or bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. No part of you is evil or bad. Embracing your shadow leads you to healing hidden in the darkest reaches of yourself. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the earth star, the root, the sacral, the soul star, and the stellar gateway. Great for Scorpios and Capricorns. Uh, and for total transmutation. Nice, Cappies. Okay. Let me get some water and pull some tarot cards. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't realize it was at 50 minutes. So it made a second video. We lost a second somewhere. My bad. I'm usually really good at keeping track of that. My bad. Oh, okay. What deck do we want to use for Capricorns? Why do I want to use Santa Muerte? I kind of want to use that one for you guys. So let's go ahead and do it. It's kind of a fun deck. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals? For the month of February. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Hmm. Sorry, my piercing. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? All of a sudden, I feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> Capricorns. Uh, you might feel really uncomfortable around somebody or just really uncomfortable with your current situation, your energy. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, very nice. We have the Magician, Mercurial Energy, so Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius or Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine Energy. This is creative energy. This is making shit happen, having all the tools to create, okay? I do feel like that's your energy, Capricorn. You're wanting to create. Some of you feel held back. Oh. Well, and there's the four cups in reverse, okay? Scorpionic energy, rejection. You're trying to create, you're trying to progress. You feel held back. Some of you might even feel rejected here. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa where someone could feel rejected by you. <clears throat> I feel like it's more that you feel held back more so than rejected. But some of you are allowing feelings of, re of no, fear. Fear. Uh, fear of rejection and abandonment from keeping you from creating, and you need to recognize that. So you'll be recognizing that in February. Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Too many? Less cards, please. Nine? No, six. I always, that's so weird. I swore I saw nine. <laughs> six of swords. Aquarian energy, and then we have the High Priestess in reverse. Pisces could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Three of Wands in reverse. Aries energy. Oh, yeah, Cappy, something is not going as planned. <clears throat> with this energy, High Priestess in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse, it's been revealed, or you're being honest with yourself, that something is not going the way you expected it to. Six of Swords, you're moving on from that, but you do feel like whatever it is you've been trying to work on or create that or put a lot of time into that you've been kind of rejected here. But you're moving on past that. Some of you are actually rejecting somebody because it's not going the way you expect it to or the way you need it to. So what else wants to come out here? Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Yeah, Moon Universe. More reveals. Piscean Energy could also be um, Cancer. Or Gemini again for me as a reader. 
Capricorns, I feel like something unpleasant is coming to light. Like not just the unpleasantness of something not going the way you expect it to. Some of you, this feels like a major pivot and you're not liking that. But I also feel like a nasty reveal. Like, like someone's ill intentions are being revealed to you. Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of February? Ooh. E. Fool in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius for me as a reader because um, it is Uranus. And then we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. The Fool in reverse with the Nine of Cups in reverse. This could be someone who's very, very, very self indulgent or very selfish. Um, or falling into depression because they feel like they made a big fat mistake. Yeah, I feel a really awful reveal of ill intention. Overall energy, we do have the Emperor, which is Mars energy. So Aries and Scorpio, also Taurus for me as a reader, divine masculine energy. Then we have the King of Wands, Leo energy, could also be fire or air. Ooh. And then we've got the Seven of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Ooh. I don't like this. I don't like this energy, Capricorns. Um, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You're going to be fine after it's being revealed to you that something's not going as expected. Some of you are dealing with issues of rejection and abandonment around this. Others of you are leaving someone behind. It's being revealed that someone made a really foolish mistake and very depressed about it or very self-indulgent. But overall, we have someone who likes their options. Emperor with the King of Wands and Seven of Cups, that is someone who has their options and who likes to flirt with a lot of options here. Someone who's willing to do whatever they have to do to keep a lot of doors open. And to be honest, that, honest, that just feels like to keep a leash on people. That's really how that feels. You know what I mean? Like the kind of person, male or female, doesn't matter. This is masculine energy, but it can be a female. Like the kind of person who like flirts with everybody and their mama. <laughs> To always have someone on hand that they can be with, you know, it's it feels a little bit like that. This could be business oriented, but seven of cups, that's like emotional and that's emotional options. Those are options that could lead to happiness, but so, it's being revealed that someone made a really foolish mistake here. And Capricorn, you're moving forward regardless, but it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. I want more answers to this. Um, I definitely want more answers to this. Yeah, I want to look at this energy of the moon universe, full universe with the nine of cups universe. This is like quite literally someone being down on themselves because they made a big fat mistake. I am getting regret here. I am getting regret. Yeah, let's look at that. Uh, let me do the Lenormand deck, OG version. Play with this moon universe. Tell me about the moon universe. Cappies, you're going to go into major creative mode no matter what. You're going to stick with that energy, and you should, and that's going to help get you out of this, like, cement-like feeling of being held back. Because even if what's not panning out is just dealing with this person, maybe finding out that someone's kind of a player or a playette, like, finding that out, you're like, all right, well, I just got to keep it going. I got to keep it moving. I got to keep it pushing. Or finding out that, like, something you've been working on excuse me, hasn't panned out and like maybe you're really feeling depressed about it or feeling really down about it. You feel really rejected about it. And and you come across someone who's kind of like, I don't, to be honest, it seems like sees that vulnerability for some of you. Just keep going. <laughs> Just keep going. You're going to be fine. Remember, you're the bat. You're going to find your way out. Anyway, let's go back and focus in on this energy. Play with the moon in reverse. Heard Cancer. Oop, the book of knowledge. Yeah, secrets are coming out. With the Ten of Pentacles, that can involve money or work or home or family or anything that involves your legacy or what would be your legacy. But that, this is knowledge. Knowledge is being revealed. Information is being revealed. Time about the moon in reverse. Time about the moon in reverse. Ooh. We got the writer with the nine of cups. This is communication. The writer is like movement and communication. Think of kind of like eight of wands meets the knight, uh, meets a knight. That, that's what the, the writer is about. So communicating knowledge that was hidden once before. Communication of secrets. Tell me more about the moon in reverse. 
for Capricorn for February. Let's see here. Now we've got the tree with seven of cups. Tree can indicate family or something that's slow or slow in growth or even organic here or something that's stable. Someone wanted their options. Someone wanted their options because it's kind of like, well, if I have as many options as possible, then I have more of a more of a po uh, possibility of, of getting what I want or of not missing out on something. But you can't have your cake and eat it too, right? Someone has been wanting to have their cake and eat it too, and that's what's being revealed. Over energy, we do have the star. Wow, with the key. Enlightenment. The key with the star is access to the star energy. The star is like the star card in the tarot. Um, it's enlightenment. It's also healing. And it's also destiny. But this is honestly, I feel like it's just, it's just enlightenment. It's access to the truth. Because remember, what's being revealed is that someone made a big fat mistake. And that mistake was trying to keep their options open. And they were trying to hide that. Because it's the moon card with the with the with the book. Someone was trying to hide that, and now book is wide open. That information is being shared. Wow. Okay, Cappies, you're gonna be just fine. Okay. Um. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Okay. Have a great month and a great night. Namaste.